When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Lead your shire with pride, ferocious swan. Decreed by this lawful Shiremoot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hunfjord, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best. For each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. The septic rot has overtaken this child. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not... All three... Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? 
I choose Alfgar. He is sturdy and competent, and his wealth will be a boon. It is decided. By the grace of God, the new Elderman is Lord Alvgar of Lincoln. God has spoken, and his voice is a clarion call. As your Elderman, I will work to better this Shire, to foster peace between its people, and to serve our King. I bless you all. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. The septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. The bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety. But he is wisest of the three and has already proven himself. Herabred it will be. He knows what it means to lead, and he'll carry on with no trouble. Our Lord God, through his infinite grace and mystery, has spoken, and he has spoken with a ringing voice. The Bishop Herathrith shall be Lincolnshire's elderman. Thank you, one and all. God's blessing go with you. Psalm 78, 72. David shepherded his flock by the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skill of his hands. So I shall lead with heart and hand as one. God bless you all. Go easy on the mead, Lord. It's a long ride to Grimsby. I'm only sniffing it. I seem to have lost my thirst. Hedapred was the right man for this seed, Hunvald. He has influence and respect, something you have yet to earn. I know. I've always known. I think I wanted this only as a means to remember my father. There are better ways to honor his memory. Like a drink and a song. Yes, that's true. Thank you, Eivor. We'll speak again soon. I have an alliance to secure. Eivor, 
You have gifted me a great honor. One I hope I can repay. One you must repay, as our tradition demands. Name your need. I want your holy word that Lincolnshire will be a friend to the Raven Clan through the thickest and darkest of troubles. Yes, of course. Have no doubt we are friends, you and I, from this moment forward. Only call, and I shall come. Thank you, Bishop. Take care of your sheep. And shear that one from time to time, for his own good. <laughs> 